Good morning. Um, I'm David Snyder with Florida Home Partnership. And some of the topics that we uh, discussed, uh, one was where do capable leaders come from? Do they come from within the community, uh, within your organization, or from an outside? There was a general consensus that all three of those areas are where the local leaders come from. Uh, but we mainly focused on uh, nurturing leaders from within the organization and from within the community. Um, examples were recruiting from tenants and housing residents that we serve, uh, also our self-help clients uh, that go through the program. They have an understanding of your organization, they have an understanding of how the programs work, and they also develop a passion for the work that we do by participating in our programs. We also talked about providing internship opportunities for high school and university students to help build the knowledge of our industry and to realize that community and economic development uh, is a potential career tr track uh, for the, the youth to pursue in their careers. Um, we also discussed uh, utilizing uh, opportunities for young persons through programs such as uh, Youth Bill, AmeriCorps, and uh, internships. Another topic that we talked about is what are we doing to attract, groom, and to retain our, uh, our young leaders. Um, one of the things that we discussed was providing a fair competitive salary and benefits. If you're maybe in a low income area, Living wage was uh, discussed as a way of attracting and retaining uh, potential leaders. Also allowing flex time and telecommuting, uh, particularly for employees that have children or have a long distance to commute to the office. Um, that would help in retaining and attracting um, employees. Uh, we talked about offering opportunities for training, attending conferences, to gain more knowledge and to develop the passion for the work that we do. Um, developing in-house monitoring, monitoring, mentoring programs to share knowledge uh, with, that the current leaders have and pass that knowledge on to, to the new leaders that we're trying to uh, recruit and attract. Also providing meaningful and challenging uh, work experiences to motivate employees and encourage their continued uh, career development. Um, it was also brought up being upfront about job expectations. You're working kind of in a small organization, may not be a great number of opportunities, but work to create kind of an entrepreneurial environment to uh, allow employees to explore new and challenging work experiences. One was uh, getting them involved in doing grant writing as a, a way of having them uh, develop new skills. Another topic we talked about is uh, how do we keep local leaders up to speed on the affordable housing needs in our community and about the work that our organizations do. Uh, some of this is pretty obvious. Invite them to your events, have them participate in your events, groundbreakings, uh, home ownership month events that you may have. Uh, meet one-on-one -on -one with your uh, local leaders. They could be uh, council people, commissioners on your county, or the, the staff working for the local governments that are involved in the community and housing development programs that we all work on. Um, one uh, item that was brought up, I thought this was a great idea, was um, monthly newsletters to share with our local leaders to uh, show the successes of our organization so to keep them up on speed of what we're accomplishing in our community and to make them stakeholders in our activities to see the benefits of uh, what we do and of course using social media to get our story out. And uh, another topic that we discussed uh, is what kind of person do we want to work in our organization and how do we land them. Um, one item that was talked about is this is not just a job, but it's a career. It's a mission-driven uh, career that we work in. You have a passion. You develop a passion for the work that we do. Um, we also talked about finding what interests 
uh, the employees may have and, and give them job experiences that match those interests. And coming to the conferences, that helps build the passion for the work that we do. And finally, I will follow up on a topic from last night's banquet. Uh, why did the chicken cross the road? Uh, to explore new opportunities, to take on new challenges, and to gain more experience. Our job as local leaders and managers is to remove, remove walls that block that road and provide pathways and guidance to employees in crossing that road. <laughs>